I'm going to take you through um, this portfolio, which is a successful portfolio for um, Kingston Foundation application. Um, it's really important to remember that what we're judging you on is the quality of your work and not on how much money you spend mounting or presenting your work. Um, this is a great first page because what we're looking at is we're looking at a, a neat and simple presentation of three really beautiful drawings. Um, Phoebe obviously has a real skill and real talent for dealing with life drawing and figuration. Um, it's not precious, it's not necessarily academic, but it has a real flair for materials. Um, she then very sensibly, because drawing is obviously a real strength from this portfolio, um, gives us a series of drawings um, that shows she can use colour, shows that she can really explore expressive mark making. Often it's not necessarily neat and tidy, but that's part of the charm of these drawings. We then get to another phase in her portfolio where she starts to introduce research. Um, it's obviously a very significant part of how she explores ideas and how she expresses herself very viscerally through materials. Um, she's looking at Hastings and this environment, but rather than just photographing, she's photographing, collaging, using paint, using paper, using materials that obviously suggest the sense of place. And this prolific body of research then moves onto the idea of maps. Um, she doesn't just look at maps in the way that perhaps most would as a way of finding directions, but she uses those as a backdrop to paint on top of. And you can see with some of these images here that the actual typography and the map making is creeping through her watercolour in the painting. And what's really exciting about this page is the fact that um, she's not necessarily using photography in a conventional fashion either, where she's actually using it to collage with and using it to explore in quite a painterly way how she sees her interpretation of Hastings. We then move on to a much more large-scale, more expressive way of making marks. Um, there's a real confidence in these pieces of work where she's not necessarily giving us a very specific observation of what she's looking at, but it doesn't really matter because there's an excitement in how she uses these materials. Um, this is a real um, key page for me, as um, what, from what we've seen with the Hastings research, um, she is very much using her materials to resolve a final piece. She's beautifully photographed them, but you can see that this comes from the way she used collage, the way she cut up her photographs, and the way she's appropriated different materials to suit what she's trying to communicate. And this is another really interesting piece. Again, until I look through her sketchbooks, I'm not quite sure what this piece is about, but she has a really great feel for materials. She's using bleach, she's using um, tissue paper to stick on top of the bleach, and it's a really innovative way of exploring traditional techniques. And she ends the portfolio on a rather lovely looking chameleon. Again, it doesn't necessarily follow from the previous body of work in terms of project or concept, but I love this little guy, and it really gives me a sense that um, Phoebe has a real sense of humour and is not afraid to kind of show that in her work. Um, whilst that portfolio is a really lovely exploration into um, the essence of what she produces, um, for me the most exciting thing in her portfolio is actually in her sketchbooks. Um, these are so well discovered. She's looking at absolutely everything. She likes to write. Um, her image making follows through in everything she does. But it's not just about necessarily looking or referencing artists just because she's been told to. Um, there's a real sense that she's looking at artists to understand how potentially she can make work in new ways. And this page really excites me. She's obviously playing with materials. Um, you can see the kind of seeds of what she was doing in her portfolio coming through in this, a really beautiful 
um, watercolour or collage of the underground map. Not all of these images are perfect. She's doing examples of um, first class stamps. It's not the best painting I've ever seen, but that doesn't matter because it's actually getting her to understand how she artic articulates her own ideas. And here we see where she's looking at, at and exploring map making. And here we have again, as we did with the portfolio, really original examples of how she's actually used nails in order to show maps and then photographed it in a really appropriate way. And again, she's stuck in really interesting ways of creating maps on hands. And again, she's out photographing, observing people, situations, environments to feed back into her work. And another sketchbook that follows on from the same project. What a beautiful page. So again, she's using collage, but in the most beautiful way. It's um, playful, it's not too precious, but you can really see where it follows on from her observations in this particular church. Really great use of collage where she's cutting out, thinking about her image making skills. And that's just such an exciting page. It's again, it's it's very free, it's very brave, it's very courageous. It doesn't feel finished, but that's the beauty of it. There's a real excitement about what she's exploring. And then she's using materials, she's using thread. Again, map making follows through in this, a really beautiful example of how you can articulate using a material that isn't just a drawn line. And again, as we saw with the portfolio, her photography is being used as a drawing tool here rather than just a way to document a sense of place. And overall, there's just a real commitment and real passion for what she's looking at. Um, I can imagine this is the sort of work that extends beyond the classroom or beyond the studio. This is something that she's genuinely excited by.